Hi guys, this is Noriel and I would like to welcome you again in our PFSense how to video series. And before I start, I would like to say again thank you to all of you guys who continue to support my blog, my website and my of course my YouTube channel. And I really hope that you will continue to do so. Okay? So for today's video, I will uh, we will be doing a captive portal tutorial or guide but this time uh, we will not be using DC or active directory for authentication so we will be using the user manager and the uh, voucher system of pfSense so let's start so I have here my pfSense up and running and I have to do is go to services captive portal then let's add a zone or instance then let's give it a name and continue so I will try to make this video easy and fast. Okay. So captive portal, enable captive portal. Select the interface. So in my case, I would like to uh, enable captive portal authentication in my LAN network or in my LAN interface. <laughs> then uh, maybe here I would. So here the authentication redirect URL. So what this uh, uh, should do is to, if your user are authenticated, it will be redirected on this URL. Okay. So I will show you later. So I'll just put my blog here. So when the user are authenticated, so it will be re they are uh, redirected on this website or in this URL. So of course you can change, and for example you can put your website, uh, but uh, or your company website here, and or your personal blog or just the Google.com. Okay, and I want to disable concurrent logins. That means uh, no multiple user credentials must uh, must be accepted. So so no concurrent logins. Mm, and of course, I want the authentication to be the local user and voucher. If you rem if you remember on on our previous videos. I select the radius authentication when I uh, use the DC or the Active Directory authentication. But this time we will going to use the user manager or and the voucher. And I want to uncheck that one. And that's it. You can save and now we should expect that we should log into our captive portal so as you can see we have the captive portal already already enabled so it is asking for a username and password so since we didn't set up a username and password, so basically we can't log in. So let's try. So it says invalid credentials specified. So now that we have the PFSense Capture Portal enabled, I would like to show you now how to create a user in our user manager. So the, we are able to log in here. So we have some username and password here. <coughs> so we go to system and user manager. 
okay so I want to delete this users first okay so here as a def as default we only have the admin uh, as system administrator and a the belongs to the admins group so to create a new user or to add just click here the plus button or icon here add user then so let's say user 1 so this is optional you can create a full name or you can define in uh, expiration date so that means this user the user one along with this password will expire on your date specified okay so here the group membership so if you want this user to be the group of admin so you just select admin and then click here so as you can see we have here not member of and member of so now this user the user one is a member of admin so if you want that you can uh, select that one so of course you can create uh, multiple groups here okay so that's it we have a user one and I define the password and he is not a member of admins click save okay so let's try to use that uh, credentials that we just created the username user one and the password uh, I define that will be user one and the password Okay, so as you can see, uh, it uh, accepted our credentials, and it's uh, it automatically redirected to my blog site as I defined earlier. Okay, so let's go back here. So as easy as that. So you don't need a domain controller and in uh, create an active directory so to just to enable a captive portal in your setup okay so now that we are done in user manager so if you want to uh, add more user just click this add button here and create another user okay so if you want to uh, make this user a member of admin just click the admin and this button add groups and then save oops I'm sorry okay so as you can see user 1 is not a member of any group and user 2 is a member of group admin as I defined okay so let's check here the status of our captive portal select the portal zone that we created the super portal and you can see here the username so here is the user one so it started the session here's the date and time the MAC address and here is the IP okay so if you want to disconnect this user you just click here disconnect okay and this user must be disconnected okay so it it is uh, the our captive portal shows uh, up again and asking for username and password again because we disconnected the user here in our PF sense so let's try the user 2 
it should be connected and it should be uh, shows a uh, log here okay so as you can see we have user 2 here just to refresh oops what happened okay so it's fine so now so we are done with the user manager and this time let's uh, enable the voucher system so a voucher is a let's say a code so let's go here voucher and let's enable vouchers so <coughs> if we enable the vouchers so your uh, wait wait a minute let's disconnect this one oops status Okay. Let us uh, clear our browser history first. And let's log in again. Oops. Anyway, never mind. Uh, let's proceed to our. Uh, let's check first. Okay, there is no user connected. And uh, let's edit and enable our browse uh, voucher. Okay, there you go. Okay, so as you can see, we have only here the username and password, but now we'll try to enable the voucher. So all we have to do is to go to services, captive portal, edit our captive portal, go to voucher uh, tab, and enable voucher. So I don't want to touch anything here, so I just click save. So once <coughs> saved, so we have must have our voucher already enabled. Let's check here. Uh -huh. Okay not working yet okay so let's go back here on our app to portal edit so we already enabled our voucher system <coughs> so what's next what's next is to create the plus button here or add voucher so here enter the role number so you can just uh, let's say role number one, uh, one and here minutes per ticket so minutes per code or per ticket so that means if I enter here 60 so that means the 
ticket that will be generated or the code that will be generated will have 60 minutes uh, allow, will allow 60 minutes of usage okay so I'll just put here for the test a uh, two minutes and here the count that means how many ticket how many ticket will be generated so if you enter here one so this voucher will uh, generate one two minute ticket okay so if I will click here 10 uh, I'll enter here 10 so it will generate 10 two minutes uh, voucher okay so uh, test voucher and then click save so we have here number of tickets 10 and each tickets have two minutes of uh, allowed uh, usage or use on it okay so the last step that we have to do is to click here the blue icon here something so it says generate voucher for this role so I'll click this and I have here the voucher okay so Let's uh, clear again our history. Or maybe we should restart our PF Sense. Yes. Okay, so, so we uh, reboot first our PF Sense because some of our configuration doesn't apply yet or doesn't uh, take in effect. So let's just wait until our PF Sense uh, restarted okay we're back guys so let's log in again on our PF Sense Okay, we're back. I'm sorry for that uh, post, guys. Okay, so let's log in again. So, where were we? Okay. So, we uh, already generated a voucher. So, let's check. Yeah. Okay. Thank God. So as you can see, guys, we have already have a username, password as earlier, and when we enable our voucher system in our PF Sense here, so we now have a option, an option, if we are. Uh, going to enter a voucher code or we are going to enter our username and password so we already test tested and tried our here the username and password so we already created the user 1 and user 2 and it works and now we are going to test the enter voucher code or the voucher so we already downloaded the here the uh, tickets that we created so we should check here in our 
downloads so here so let's open so this is the voucher that we it generated so as you can see we have 10 codes here because we define uh, 10 tickets so let's create another one here so because we define uh, the count here as 10 and then the minutes are just two minutes so that's why we are having here a 10 codes or 10 voucher with two minutes each on each uh, voucher okay so we have 10 voucher that has two minutes uh, of access on it so we'll try any of these codes and paste it here and click continue okay so it is working so as you can see and uh, let's check again again here in our status so earlier you see here since we used the user 1 and user 2 so here in our uh, log or captive portal status we uh, seen user 1 and user 2 under username here but this time since we use the captive uh, portal voucher so we see it here the uh, as the username as is the code that we used so let's double check this is the code okay so let's try again the other codes let's disconnect this user mm -hmm. okay it's working fine and let's try this one copy paste okay so all vouchers are working so I think that's all guys so just uh, review so we just enable the captive portal here select LAN as the interface then you can <coughs> enter here your uh, URL that you like it could be your website or just the google.com and I disable the concurrent logins and enable the local user manager or voucher because we are using user manager and voucher codes and then uh, uncheck the allow only users groups with capture portal login and save so after that we just created a user here in user manager and then we enable the voucher system okay so now that we have a working uh, captive portal in our uh, LAN network with it with two options the user manager and the voucher so this time uh, I would like to show you how to uh, let's disconnect the user first okay so some of you guys are asking how can we uh, customize this login page this login page of our portal so I will show you how but I I won't make a <laughs> Uh, hardcore uh, customization of this page I will just show you how okay so since I am not a programmer and I'm not good in coding and in web development so I can uh, show you a very good uh, uh, captive portal uh, customized page so, but I will show you how okay so all you have to do actually what I just did is okay so this is the 
default cap the portal page right so all I have to do is or I can just view the source code and then copy or I'll just have to save this page as a portal portal code okay then save and then I'll go here <coughs> open with so basically I will just have uh, I just get the original source code of the default uh, captive portal page and I'll just edit it then so I have the code here so like I said I am not into web development I'm not a programmer so but I understand some of these codes okay so let's try so what my advice is if you know HTML programming or PHP or CSS so you should easily edit this page so just be careful with the codes especially here this part okay so but the rest if you understand how to code or if you know how to code you can easily uh, edit this one so like for example I'll say here uh, something like that and here the welcome to the PF Sense Captive Portal. Let's say welcome to my awesome portal. Okay, so you can edit the color, the font. You can enter here the uh, your own codes. So if you want to enter uh, enter some pictures, some images, you can put uh, put the code here. Okay, so <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, if you are not expecting the to customize like this way that what I'm doing, but this is the only no uh, the only way that I know so far at this time. Okay so for example once you are done once you are editing the text the uh, colors the background colors or you already put your images here so just enter your HTML CSS or PHP code so once you are done just click Save so this is our let's say customized portal uh, page here we have the code here so how to upload it in our PF sense so just go here in our captive portal edit and go down here in authentication or here the portal page contents so all you